We have a geometric sequence and he wants to determine the sixth term of the sequence. And we know it's geometric because once we subtract 500 from 1,000, if we subtracted 500 again for the common difference, we would have zero and not 250. Now, when we talk about geometric sequence, right, we know we're talking about a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times the ratio to the n minus 1 power. Now, just be mindful, even though these numbers are getting smaller, we're not multiplying by a negative number. We know that our common ratio is just multiplying by one half. 500 is half of 1,000, 250 is half of 500. So when we want to find the sixth term in the sequence, right, first term is 1,000, common ratio is us multiplying by one half, and we're going to do 6 minus 1, right? Because we know the n is 6. And we're looking for the 6th term. So a sub 6 is equal to 1,000 times 1 half to the 5th power. Once we simplify, the 6th term in this sequence is going to be 31.25. So when you're working with geometric sequences, just remember we're dealing with multiplication. And if the numbers are getting smaller, that doesn't mean a negative is involved, but sometimes it means that we're probably multiplying by a fraction.